Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Uh, welcome to the question of the day. We are going to be looking at types of writing. This is a skill that you will need to know for the T's exam. Okay, so here's our question. Which of the following best describes this type of writing? Take a moment, pause here to read through this paragraph and think what type of writing this might be. What is the author trying to do? Okay, now here's the question with the answer choices associated with it. Which of the following best describes this type of writing? Narrative, technical, persuasive, or expository? If you need to, pause this video here, go back, take a look at the passage and the answer choices. Try and get the correct answer now. The answer is C, persuasive. Did you get it right? Here's the correct answer explanation. Again, this was a persuasive text. The text is trying to convince the reader that caffeine can have positive health benefits. I've highlighted a few pieces of evidence here in yellow to prove that this is a persuasive text. Here's the first piece of evidence. Caffeine improves mood and focus. Moderate caffeine intake helps prevent type 2 diabetes. They might kill and inhibit the growth of cancer cells. They in this sentence is referring to caffeine. Lastly, for the majority, the benefits of moderate caffeine habit outweigh the dis disadvantages. This really wraps it up and clearly shows that this is a persuasive text that's trying to convince the reader of the positive health benefits of caffeine. Let's take a look at the incorrect answer explanations. This is not a narrative because it is not a fictional story like Harry Potter. This is not a technical piece of writing because it is not a guide or an instruction manual. Lastly, this is not expository because it does more than just provide details about caffeine. It really tries to convince the reader of something, the health benefits of caffeine. So expository is not the best answer. Thanks for hanging with me for question of the day today. Head over to our website, sign up to be a premium member to gain access to 7,500 questions. I really hope to see you there.